Oh shoot. All right guys, welcome to uh, my next uh, review. Let me see if I can, uh, these are arranged in such a way. Uh, this is my next review. This is the uh, fancy uh, insulated coffee cup review. And uh, talk uh, about each individual cup, what I like and I don't like about each one of them. I put uh, ice in all three of them and held ice for, you know, over 24 hours. What we want to do is put coffee in these things or hot beverages in these things. I want to start out by mentioning, uh, let's start with the Yeti cup. This cup is, you know, just from like a cosmetic uh, standpoint is, is a beautiful cup. The coating that they put on the Yeti products is the best. I, I don't think that that's even something you could even argue. It's, uh, it's superior. The coating on the outside is superior. One of the things that I really like about the Yeti cup is the way they went shy of the entire side of the cup. They leave this portion at the top where you're putting your lips on the cup to drink. Is not coated. I like that. I just feel better not having the coating to the top. I mean, that's a personal preference. The logos on this cup, I mean, the attention to detail, you know, the Yeti logo is kind of, uh, you know, built into the cup on this side. Um, and then on the bottom, which, which I like, you got your Yeti logo here, and then you flip it up, and the Yeti logo is in the right direction on the bottom. Just, a, you know, small things like that, the attention to detail is really good on this cup. It's, it's, uh, it's superior in that way. Uh, this is also the most expensive one at, uh, at about 25 bucks. The design of the cup is, it's got, it uses the same lid as the, the, the Ramblers, the, like the full-size Rambler cup does, like the 30 ounce Rambler. It's, it's the same lid. This lid fits like, uh, you know, a much larger cup. So uh, basically what they did is they just cut the, you know, the bottom off of a, of a 30 ounce Rambler. And that's what you have here. It's the same diameter. They, they put a handle on it and there you go. There's your coffee cup. It does not come with their new uh, magnetic lock lid, which would have made this cup much better in every way. You know, it is what it is. This is the lid that it came with. It works fine. It's just a very large surface area. It's much larger in diameter than the other cups in this comparison. Uh, the inside of this cup is uh, stainless steel and it's polished to perfection. It's hard to say anything bad about this cup. It's just well made, well designed, but in practical use, when you're using this cup in comparison, direct comparison to other cups, the other two in this comparison, this cup is heavy. It, it's it's noticeably heavier. It's got a flatter bottom. It's more stable. It's you know when you set it down, it's less likely to uh, tip over. My experience while actually using this cup, I felt like it was noticeable that this cup was the least insulated, insulating of the of the comparison of the cups as far as holding the heat longest towards the you know the four hour mark. I found that after three hours, this cup kind of gave up the uh, heat retention and my, co my coffee became kind of uh, a little warmer than room temperature kind of thing if I let it go too long. Uh, this also doesn't fit in cup holders, which has been mentioned in a lot of other reviews. I don't know why you would use a cup like this in a cup holder in your car. It's not gonna be too many cup holders that this, I mean, the diameter of the base of this thing is really big so that's an, a negative, but I don't, that's not uh, the way I use my coffee cup. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it, it just seems to me if you're going to take coffee on the go in your car for like a trip or something, you would much prefer the tumbler style cup than, than a, than a coffee cup. That's just my personal opinion. So, uh, I, used this at home and I used it for work. Each one of these cups I used for a solid week every day for a solid week. That way I could uh, get draw some really strong conclusions. The lid sealed really well. It fits on here really well. Uh, coffee does not you know spill in this thing real easy. And that's pretty much it for the uh, the Yeti cup right there. So 
let's set this one aside and let's move on to the Ozark uh, cup. Now this cup here, just for comparison purposes, is uh, real cheap. I think they're like uh, $7 for one and I bought four for what this one cup cost here. So you can buy four of these for what the Yeti cup costs and that's what I did. I bought a set of four of these. Uh, as far as the build quality, the machining and th that kind of stuff, this is by far and away the, uh, the, uh, the other end of the spectrum. If this is the uh, high end of the spectrum this is the low end of the spectrum and it and it shows um, things are not as uh, smoothly polished you can feel the machining lines uh, the inside of the cup is is, uh, is a little different it looks like they did a better job on the inside of the cup the outside of the cup is kind of rough um, feeling it's very lightweight I mean I don't think that this weighs any more than a, a standard coffee cup it's very light one of the things I don't like about this cup is on the bottom there's this label I don't know if that's going to focus to where you can see it let me on the bottom is this label that says do not remove and if you rub your finger over it it feels like there's like a hole there I don't know if there is because it says do not remove and don't take it off but what I think this is is I'm just guessing this is a guess how they vacuum seal this cup with this hole on the bottom and they put this label over the hole yeah I don't like that <laughs> you know yeah that just kind of shows you know the difference in the money you know I mean that just screams it out I mean I have other Ozark trail uh, insulated cup products water balls that thing and there's no glaring thing like this in the build of of those cups but there is on the coffee cup uh, this is an eight ounce cups the other two are 14 ounce cups but when they say that this is an eight ounce cup they mean this very literally you fill this up all the way to the rim to where it does not hold any more liquid that's eight ounces so this isn't really like if you go to Denny's or something this is like the size of that mug okay one of the things just uh, after I used this for a week and I was done with my review I started using this for um, uh, whiskey and uh, you know, whiskey over ice is kind of one of my favorite uh, uh, adult beverages. I'll, I'll put a little scotch, in, you know, and some ice. And I found I really love this cup for that. This cup is the perfect size for that for me. Like, I, I, I mix a drink with some ice and some, and some scotch in this. And I can sip on this all night long and never have to get back up and refill it, you know. Um, you know, it's uh, so I find that it it, it excels in that um, scenario. I really like it for that. Um, this cup also retains its cold and heat really well with the lid off. Like even if you don't use the lid and you you know like you just have it open like this and you're using it like a regular cup, it still retains cold and heat pretty well because of the really small surface area. So that's something to mention. So I guess that's uh, that's it for this cup. I mean, this cup does what the other cups do, and it does it comparably. It does it just fine. There's no problem with it. It's much cheaper if you're into saving money. So that's about it for this cup, and let's uh, move on to the Arctic. The Arctic cup is four, 14 ounces, but you notice it, it does it in a kind of a, a slender, taller, uh, you know way. This is not your typical Arctic product. I have several Arctic products and it seems like whoever designed this or whoever made this or whatever the process was to make this really stepped up their game. This is so well designed <laughs> and you're thinking well this is just a cup what are you talking about? I'm, I'm telling you it's really impressive the performance of this cup. Really really <laughs> impressive and Arctic you know, here's the Arctic logo right here, like we talked about with Yeti. And then in the bottom, the Arctic logo is, you know, attention to detail, man. It's just little things like that. Attention to detail. And the logo is uh, squared up or in the, you know, like it should be. I've never seen an Arctic product that, that, that has that. I have, like I said, I have several. And it's a small thing. It's not a big thing. It means nothing. It just means that they cared about the manufacturing of this product. That's all I'm saying. Uh, the coating on this, like a textured powder coat, 
the outside of this is a, like a powder coat, but it's textured. It's a, like an anti, you know, slip. It's not a smooth coating like you see on uh, their other products. This is uh, textured. They uh, coated the whole cup, and it's uh, this particular one is yellow. So it's a, you know, you can kind of see in some places where the, uh, you know, where the coating is a little thinner like right here at the top of this handle right here it wasn't sprayed as thickly i can kind of see some of the stainless uh, uh, poking through so basically they made this cup it's the same as all other cups they taped the top or covered the top or something put something over the top and just willy-nilly sprayed this cup i mean the coating compared to yeti is uh, not even in the same uh, league it's not even the same ballpark one of the things I don't like that I mentioned before, see how this one has polished stainless at the top. They didn't take the coating all the way to the to the top. This one goes all the way to the top. I just don't, I just would prefer it didn't. I would like it to stop, you know, a quarter of an inch shy of the of the of the top. My personal preference on that. But other than that, on the inside of the cup, the bottom of the cup is dimpled. I don't know if you guys can see that. Where ice rests off the top off the bottom um, I don't know if that makes any difference I have no idea it's got to make some kind of difference because this cup as far as the performance of cold and hot uh, murders the other two cups um, if you're looking for a cup that really does its job wow this this cup is is like got magic unicorn dust in it I don't know what to tell you here I forgot to mention that this also fits in a regular cup holder. So does this also fits in a regular cup holder, no problem. It's, you know, because it's a tall, slender design. But where this cup uh, really shines is the lid. Uh, generally speaking, their lids suck, all of them. I mean, I can't, like I, all my Arctic products, man, I have to, I have to say, I, the, the thing I hate about Arctic products has always been the lid. This lid, they got, they got, they got right. They nailed it. They put it out of the park. And let me tell you what's special about this lid. This goes all the way down and flat, and you don't touch your nose on it at all. This lid does lay flat, and it's a superior design than everything else. It's got threads. This cap threads onto the cup, and you twist it, and it makes a tight, super tight seal. When you close this. This thing's good for way longer than, than, than you want to have your coffee stay hot. This thing, it's just a superior design. I mean, by in my personal opinion, by a long shot. And the tests prove that. And my personal experience prove that. I love this cup. This is the winner. The Arctic Coffee Cup is a clear winner for me. It just, it's just more better. <laughs> it's more better. Built like, like a you know, like a Sherman tank. Seriously, you could take this thing and beat somebody to death with it. It's it's big, it's heavy, it's amazingly built, but that's kind of its shortcomings for me actually using it. Actually using this cup, that was kind of a, a thing I didn't like about it. I loved it when I pulled it out of the box. I was like, holy moly, this thing, there's no way anything's gonna compete with this. This is amazing. But then using it, I was like, holy crap, that is a rock. I got my coffee in a rock. You know, it was, uh, that's kind of how I felt about that cup after using it. But it's a, it's a, it's a second place winner. This is our third place winner. And I don't think it's any surprise that this is the third place winner. I don't think you guys are just going to gasp with air and go, oh my God, that's the third place winner, you shill. This is the third place winner, all things considered, even the price uh, for me personally. Uh, if price is your biggest concern, do not be afraid to buy this cup. Go ahead and wrap this up. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you guys make an informed decision about where to spend your money if you're interested in a product like this. I'll bring you another one of these videos coming up real soon. Catch you on the next one. On that end.